Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use mini backgrounds for your close-up and macro photography. Uh, this is just kind of a creative exercise. I don't know, it might be practical for some types of uh, uh, still life or even product photography. We're going to get to this right now. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, we have an example right here. Uh, this is a, an image I shot uh, not too long ago, a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. Uh, it's a, what, a wine glass with a couple of necklaces and this beautiful satiny fabric behind it that magically kind of looks like it it's, uh, um, seems to be in a vertical orientation, but it's got these waves and, and whatnot in it as if it were horizontal. But yeah, I mean, if you look over here on this other side, what you see is, uh, uh, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, four different uh, little... Um, uh, backgrounds, little mini backgrounds, those are actually about um, a foot square each. Uh, and you can see that we have a satin print. It's not actual fabric, it's just a piece of paper. It's a cardboard with this picture, a photograph of a satin print. I don't know, it might be a, a really high quality graphic, but it, it looks like a piece of uh, satin. And then you've got a glittery thing here, and you've got one that looks like actual blades of grass and then this other thing that looks so, I don't know somewhat like wallpaper but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use these to create pictures like this other one over here on the left um, you know use creative lighting you can get that kind of um, you know interesting light patterns and uh, gradients you know light drop off effects it's all very simple just take one of these things and uh, put it up on a wall and shoot up against it. And you can also, obviously, you can sort of lay it down flat and uh, or even kind of curve it and do like a little mini seamless thing here. And what I did here with this, this, this was actually a test that I did with uh, uh, hand soap. They're all the same background, this uh, little craft paper right here with the design on it and... I believe the bottle of uh, hand soap is no more than about 12 or 18 inches away from that art paper behind it. And uh, obviously in square D, you can see that I'm probably using an aperture of somewhere between F8 and F11, something like that. Then moving backwards uh, into uh, uh, square C here, I'm using a wider aperture and that design starts taking on a different look. Uh, in B, the aperture gets wider and in A, probably wide open there, probably something like f2.8. And you know, you've got the you've got the one design that takes on different looks. Um, not a great example, but you know, it, it proves a point here that um, yeah, works like any any other background it's just a smaller scale you just uh, you mess with the aperture a little bit you can play with the lighting and you can get all sorts of neat effects okay so here's uh, an example of how i would do something like this i take a piece of this paper real quick let me just show you where you can get these i'm going to go over here and show you this is the michaels uh, website michaels if I, I don't know if you've got michaels where you live but it's it's this big chain of uh, arts and craft supply stores and you know they've got everything and obviously they've got some stuff online here so you can see that they've got these craft papers here all different types so you, you know you've got things like this and all these these are uh i think a lot, a lot of people use them for scrapbooking this is kind of interesting you know and you can just see quickly here how you know, you've got and look at this it's 69 cents and it's this pretty cool thing that might be of use for a tiny little background um, if you shoot you know if you're shooting a small object that might be something you could use um, real quick here I'm going to show you right and here's that here's that other, again online 69 cents this this one graphic called green grass going back here to our example so I've got that and I've got that taped up onto the wall with just a little piece of gaffer tape and uh, I have these flowers. These are actual these are the flowers you you know buy at uh, at the grocery store or something. I have them set up in front of this little uh, 12 inch square graphic and we can get something like this. 
And you can see here, depending how close this is to the graphic, um, you know, the aperture you're using, how you're using your lighting. There's a lot of different things that you could do with this. And this is the example that I got with this. Now, here is my last example, and I guess this would be in the realm of product shot or some kind of still life. And uh, this is a pair of sunglasses and some bangles and things like that. And you've got this really sparkly looking background. And it was done with, um, you know, this prismatic glitter paper. I think it was this one. The, I guess they've got different colors, but uh, let's see, they've got a gold one too. So I think it was this one, this pink one, or something very similar to that that I used to create uh, this look. This actually looks like a more of a multicolored one, a little, little uh, more on the warm colors, but you know it's got a lot of um, things like that in it. And actually, I talk a lot about how to do this stuff in an ebook that I've got on my website. Uh, just check that out at VeroskiCourses.com and go to the uh, shop. And I've got an ebook there uh, called Introduction to Close-Up and Macro Photography. And in that, uh, this is one of the examples I show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to that ebook in the description below so you can take a look at that. And this is just one of uh, the topics I cover. It's how to, you know, you do close-up photography and use these little mini backgrounds. Uh, and I go over uh, all sorts of ways to do that. Also in that ebook, I talk about some other types of uh, macro and close-up. Uh, photography like you know this cool water droplet effects and uh, little product shots and little artistic things. I even talk about food photography and stuff like that. So you can use those mini backgrounds for all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is just a quick example of how to do it. Maybe give you a little inspiration to go ahead and give this a try. It's fun to do. I mean you can go down to any store and just pick up some shiny paper, some uh, birthday gift wrap paper, something like that. Uh, just anything that, that you Fit about this big and you think you can shoot some close-up shots up against uh, and have some fun. Hey look, that's about all I've got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Let me know that you liked it. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.